Karen Alderton with the Prosper Community Library, and today we're talking back to school. Hopefully everybody is getting in the groove and all the tears and cheers have happened. But what I wanna to talk to you guys today is about how we get our readers reading, right? So what we're gonna to do today is talk about some of these books in different age groups that are really great for your kiddos for back to school. Sometimes I like to find books for my own children that are um, relating to what's going on in their life. And sometimes it's a holiday book or a back to school book or a baseball book or a gymnastics book. And we have plenty of those at the library. But today we're gonna just talk back to school. So here in our board book section, we have Time for School Mouse. And this is a great little book for beginning readers to go through and they're tough and they have great little pictures and cute little mouse in here talking about how he used to find all his things for back to school. It's a really great read. The next group I wanna talk about are our easy books or picture books. And there's some really funny ones out there, but this one is Dad's First Day of School. And the great thing about this book, it's kind of the perspective of how a child is really excited about going to school, but how the adult is kind of struggling. And we can all relate to that, right? And that's a really great conversations piece too, because I know sometimes even our kids are worried about what we're gonna do while they're at school, just as much as we're worried about them going to school. So I thought that was a really great, fun book. The next one is First Day Jitters. And I'm sure some of our little ones out there are struggling with getting back into the groove of things and meeting new people and finding out how to navigate the year. And this is a really great book about feelings and how you can get through the day and maybe it's not gonna be as bad as you thought it was and then it ends up being wonderful. So there's a little twist on the end of this book too, so it would be worth checking out. The next group we're gonna talk about is our beginning reader books. And I know sometimes these are great for our beginning readers, but I also just wanted to point out that some of our older readers, if they have a, a chance to check out some of these beginning readers, they're great for inflection and fluency and pace and really helps them also become better readers when they read those bigger books like our elementary or our juvenile fiction books. So I just wanted to point that out as well. And when you get to the beginning reader books, you'll notice that sometimes they'll have repetitive text, not a lot of words on the page, a lot of sight words that they can um, do their best to read. And they also have a lot of great pictures. And I also like to point out that a lot of times beginning readers use those pictures to help them navigate the words. So if they're looking at the picture and looking at the words, they can sometimes figure out exactly what the sentence is saying. So that's just another little tip for you guys. But this is a great book about dinos in the library, in the school, and all over the place. So it's really fun. I encourage you guys to check this one out as well. Um, the next group we have is our elementary fiction. And this is Princess Posey and the New First Grader. And basically what this kind of goes through is, as the books go on, you'll sometimes see how the topics mature, but this one is about a new little girl that comes to class and how sometimes having a new student into your peer group and how to navigate that, it can be difficult. And this little gal, Princess Posey, she figures out how she's going to um, have this person be her friend and how they can get along. And so I thought it was a really great choice, um, especially back to school when kids are mingling and making new friends. This is a really fun book for them. Um, the next book we have is from our juvenile fiction, which is Class Pets, Fuzzy's Great Escape. And I really like this book because it's basically the, um, from the, the class pets perspective and how um, everyone in the, their class pets have a committee and how they get, a, get along and how one escapes and who's gonna be the president of the class committee. So it's a really kind of a fun book from the pet side of things. And you know, some classrooms have pets and some don't, but it's just a really fun um, way to get readers reading and we always love that. And then of course, the last one I wanna talk about is our um, graphic novel, Mr. Wolf's Class. I know sometimes people feel like when their, children's re when their children read um, graphic novels that maybe they're not reading enough or maybe it's not a big kid book or I would like to squash all those rumors because reading graphic novels is awesome. It also helps with fluency. And you think about my, some of my kids will sit down and read it in an afternoon and they're like, mom, that book was great. And they have confidence that they finished a book and they're ready to read another one. And if they get through five graphic novels and the same time as they get through one juvenile fiction novel, I'm a happy camper. So I just want to also sh just let you know the graphic novel section is awesome. We've got some great selections there. And again, back to school is uh, Mr. Wolf's class is a great one 
to get those readers reading. And I hope everyone has had a great back to school um, start to the year, and we hope to see you back at the library too. See you soon.